Jacob, you said the police. You said we don't want to run into the police while we uptown riding around. If you can't beat them, join them. We fucking up. We fucking up. Them, What's going on, guys? Right here today with Seven Lobos Ranch over here at Tony. He brought the Sherp down. We've been riding around the Sherp and Fat Truck all day. Got a bunch of good drone footage. I'm going to show you the inside of these things real quick. They're pretty much the same when you look at them from the outside. Big tires that go across water, stuff like that. But when you come to look at the inside, that's where you really start seeing the big differences here. See, in the fat truck here, this is just a pickup style. Two seat, basic as it gets. AC in the roof, heater in the floor, joystick to drive, and you're good to go. This one here is for covering some distance, point A to B, whereas Tony's over here, it's more of a point A to B is going to be a lot harder to get across. He's got a transmission with a clutch on it. He's got to shift everything else like that, pedals in the floor instead of a joystick, and he's got the wagon. You could probably put 10 or 12 people in here without a doubt. I think he's got, what, seven in here today? Yes. Jacob, I mean, you count for three, don't you? Yeah, I count for three people. <laughs> but we are back out here. We're about to go through a little water hole here. Got a good little bit of water here. Going to take it through some mud holes and eventually end up out there at the lake. I think I'm a little bit faster on land just because I don't have to clutch and go. But when it comes down to this water and stuff, we're going to have to find out who's better at it. Well, y'all know I'm a pretty nice person in general, so... Tony, as elderly as he is, I mean, he had to check out a nursing home to get out here today. So we're going to let the Sherp go first, see how well he does. Water's not deep, but honestly, it just looks cool going through it. So we're going to have a little fun, let him drive through here, let y'all see it. It's pretty good. We do have some steep inclines over here. He almost flipped a minute ago. I'll try and put that on the drone footage here. There he comes, slow and easy, just cruising through there. Slow and easy does win the race. I mean, unless it's a race. I mean, I'm thinking fast, hard, and quick. You know, that's why I got kids, man. I don't know. That's how I do it. Let's see this thing. Probably one of the coolest things about these is listening and going through stuff. Listen to them paddles slapping that water in mud. And if y'all don't know Tony, he owns Seven Lobos Ranch out there. Man has giraffes. So if you don't know them, you need to look them up. Who the fuck has giraffes? There we go. Climbing out of there easy. All right, we got to turn around. He almost flipped here a second ago. Let's see if we can get in there. Ooh, look at them tires. He got them low, crinkling up. Easing off in there, baby. And the sherp is so big that it doesn't look like a steep drop off, but you're looking at about a three and a half, four foot drop off once you get all the way in there. Cruising, baby. I'm actually gonna do that at about 20 miles an hour. Oh yeah, light work for him, light work. And you see, I would get closer to him crawling out this hole, but I don't know how deep his water is. And I got the old Gator Waiter booties on today, and uh, I ain't trying to get soaking wet again. I done fell in once. Don't worry, we got Hunter Jung over there. He's got the old good camera out, acting like a professional. Can you get all of his forehead in that video? I don't think I can. I don't got enough screen. There we go. Climbing up and out, baby. All right, let's put that run to shame. Let me go get in the fat truck real quick. Hold up, he's trying to go back to it. I almost missed it. Here it is though. Look at him down there. And Connor. Suck it looks good going through there, though, don't it? All right, I, I can't give him all the camera time. I got to do some cool shit, too. Let me go get in the fat truck. He's just showing off at this point. Look at him back there. And we're in the fat truck now. And one of the biggest differences between the Sharp and the fat truck that I can honestly tell you is this right here. I'm driving one hand, no clutch. I ain't got a shift. I ain't got to do none of that stuff. All I gotta do is put that joystick right there, and we in there. Easy peasy, baby, all day.
that's how you do that right there, son. He took the slow and easy approach, but you know, Airhead's got pretty good warranty on this thing, so I took the uh, fast and hard. I'm getting throwing all that shit up. All right, we're about to ease on to a little couple other mud holes. Nothing crazy. It hadn't rained here in a long time. But I just noticed something about these things. Old Tony over there, he's the fast and slow approach, but his tires are bigger than mine. He's deflated almost, and it's still just a hair bigger. What the shit? You think I put 30s on that thing? Yeah, some four Boy, I'm finna call JTX. Give me stun. Shit. All right, we're mobile again. We're about to go sign some the biggest elevations we can find in South Arkansas, which ain't much. But he turning that big sucker around over there. Let's go find some up and down somewhere. <laughs> Baby, light work. Come on now. He up there shifting them gears, slamming that clutch. Oh, 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 Mr. Gear, come on, Tony. There it is. You have to put that bitch in low. All I'm going to do is get the little joystick going. He got faith. He running them bitches on flat. <laughs> well, we behind the sharp now. Only in case we gotta push him out, you know. Old Tony up there. <laughs> he gonna hit that fucking yellow pole, watch <laughs> It's crawling through. Damn. Is that side bend deal? Somebody got Nelly problems. Uh oh. What's happening, Nelly? Uh -oh. What's happening, Nelly? Uh oh. No. Hey, that looking straight at the water. Shit, we work too. <laughs> you won't back. Let him get stuck. I never stop talking to him. I never stop. Oh, he got it now. There you go, boy. And there ain't no L's on this bitch. It's all that stuff. All right, so we made it down here, and there's not much elevation in South Arkansas. Down here, about the fucking tallest thing you're gonna find is an ant hill, and if you're looking for mountains, they're in front of a Coors Light can. But Tony, we're gonna we're gonna run over through these little things here, some mounds or whatnot, and some mud holes. Nothing crazy, honestly. Like I said, the upper half of Arkansas, if you get a little tipsy and go outside, you might fall off a mountain, but you ain't finding none down here. All right, here we go. These things will go across pretty much any terrain possible, but right here. Most of your stock side-by-sides or anything like that's gonna get high centered on something like this. 
but the width on these things like 86 88 inches that's a walk in the park his actually may be even wider on his i think i'm an 88 i think he's maybe 94. look at that a walk in the park all day long didn't even matter didn't even matter there sucker's just so wide goes over things so easy let's see him drop off into one and they all have a tow hitch in the back i'm not really sure what you pull with them other than bitches but they got them look at that just cruising through not a problem in the world, baby. Time to take fat truck. Woo! Old Connor being professional over here. Look at it. Now, this will probably be the least impressive part of the video just because, like I said, there's no hills down here. I do have one in my field I think we're gonna go hit, but until then, let's dive off in this sucker right here. Easy, light work, baby. I got it in mud setting. Let's a little PSI of the tires. We just go right over this stuff. All day, baby. Got old Connor up there. Look at him, boy. Look at him. Got that camera out. Oh, yeah. Good little drop off. Here we go. Light work. We're gonna have to go back to the house. Get on that big ass fucking hill. You know, you know boy. Got you. We're gonna flip something. I ain't made it up yet. We're gonna find out though. All right. Well, that was that was very uneventful. Have you ever flipped this thing? No. Yeah. You ain't never flipped it. No. We're gonna we're gonna go try. Okay. Try? Yeah. Yeah. Just do it. With, just do it with faith. We're gonna do what you can't do. Shit. Yeah. yeah I don't stay have stood ride, up. Really. You don't, don't have a ride. I don't have a ride. Oh, you, you definitely have to ride. We need in sharp footage. I'm gonna be to the side over here. You need to be in there. You got insurance. I don't have insurance. You're fine. You don't have to pay that shit back. You can ride me off here. Ten dollars a month, baby. All right. All right, guys, we made it back to the house. Got the fat truck over here. Got the sharp over here, and I, I did find one mound of dirt. It's about eighteen foot tall, pretty steep incline. I think it's a forty-three degree incline going up there. I know that the fat truck stops at about 34 degrees incline before it starts going off sensors, red lights, everything like that. But you say you don't have a dial gauge on here. No dial gauge. None at all. You think you can go up that right there? Oh, I might go up it, but I can't come down it. <laughs> <laughs> We've been find out. I'm gonna hop in there and see what happens. All right, here we go. Here's the moment of truth. He's ready. We got our professional cameraman over here. Let's get it. We're out there right now. We're at negative four degrees, negative five degrees. Ooh, here we go. Let's see what he's got. Oh, I think he's got me. <laughs> oh, I'm tapped out. I'm tapped out. That's all I got. Oh, he still got me. I gotta go down. <laughs> Look at him, baby. Oh, I don't think you got it. I don't think you got it. That sucker is tall. Neil, what do you think happened? I don't know. I... <laughs> oh, he's still going for it. Do a cartwheel. They gonna do a cartwheel. Oh shit. <laughs> Air conditioner not gonna work anymore. <laughs> no, hell no. Especially not when he crushes it.
Me personally, I think you had it. <laughs> All right, so I didn't go quite as planned. I think he beat me by about a foot or so, only because he has a better warranty. But I got the pad truck lined up over here next to the shirt. We are gonna race across the pond, through the water, off the embankment, and up the other side, and see who makes it there first. That thing fast in water? I don't know, we'll find out. Doubt, self-doubt, I've already won. Don't even worry about it. Go! <laughs> as soon as they hit the water, it's next lap. So I did take that dub, you know. We we're pretty even now, ain't we, Tony? Oh yeah, man. Pretty it even. Good. It was all good. So look, I will say this though, I don't feel like this short pond is really a good competition. I think we go over to the lake and race about three miles across water and really see who's gonna win one. We can try. We're gonna try that. But not today, not today. Y'all come back, check it out. We're gonna have a part two. We're gonna get these suckers out here. We're gonna roll, we're gonna race across a big body of water. And I mean, you know, I'll probably just keep the trophy in my cab, but I don't think you'll need it. 